dear students this presentation gives an idea about a topic from module 4 that is state feedback controller design via port placement technique the design via port placement it is an important concept in control system we know as the location of closed loop poles of the system changes the output response of the system also changes that is the output response of the system is depends on the location of closed loop poles so if we are able to place the closed loop poles at a desired location then we can achieve the the desired output response from the system so this is the concept of design via port placement so the again the port placement it can be applied for a system if the given system is completely state controllable otherwise we can't apply the port placement design technique now consider a system a enthoder system with the state space model x dot equal to x plus b u and y is equal to cx plus du with x represents the state vector with the n state variables and y is the output signal and u is the control signal now let the the desired closed loop uh, loc poles locations to be at s equal to mu1 mu2 etc up to mu1 in the state feedback controller the control signal to the system have the form u equal to minus kx this is the nature of control signal applying in a state feedback controller u equal to minus kx where x is the state vector and capital k is called state feedback gain matrix and its order is 1 by n 1 by n it is a row matrix now also for the given system for the given system with the system matrix capital a we are able to form the characteristic equation that is determinant of sa minus a equal to 0 now with u equal to minus kx the state equation is changed to that is x dot equal to a minus bk into x which is equal to a tilde x where a tilde represents the new system matrix as a result the new characteristic equation become si minus a tilde equal to determinant of si minus a plus bk equal to 0. Hence by determining the suitable state feedback gain matrix capital K, it is able to place the closed loop poles at the desired location. So our, the design of state feedback controller via pole placement technique is that we need to design or we need to determine a suitable state feedback gain matrix K. Now coming to the determination of state feedback matrix capital A. The necessary and sufficient condition for state feedback design via pole placement is that the given system should be completely state controllable. The controllability of the system we can check by means of the controllability matrix QC equal to B, A, B, A square B, etc. up to A raised to N minus 1 into B. If the rank of the controllability matrix is equal to n, that is the order of the system, then we can say that system is completely state controllable. If the given system is completely state controllable, then we can use any of the following method for the design of or for the for determining the state feedback gain matrix capital K. The first method is named as using transformation matrix capital T. This method is better when the given state space model is in controllable canonical form then we can use the transformation matrix as identity matrix that is capital T equal to I. Now the second method is another very simplest method that is using direct substitution method. Normally this method is applicable when the order of the system is less than or equal to 3 that is when order of the system n equal to less than or equal to 3 then you can apply the direct substitution method. Now the last method is named as Ackermann's formula. We have a formula. By applying that formula, we are able to find the 
state feedback gain matrix capital k now these methods we can illustrate by means of a given example suppose we have a system with a state space equation x to equal to x plus b u with the matrices a and b as given now we need to design a state feedback controller with uh, the control u is equal to minus kx such that the desired poles locations it is given in the question the desired poles locations are at s equal to minus 2 plus j4 then minus 2 minus j4 then minus 10 so these are the three pole locations the desired pole locations now before going to determine the capital k first step is we need to check the controllability of the system we can be done by means of controllability matrix qc then if you are obtaining qc you will get a the rank of the matrix is 3 itself as a result we can say that the system is completely state controllable then the pole placement technique is applicable here now we can determine the state feedback gain matrix capital k by means of the following methods for the examination point of view we need to apply any of the method no need to perform all the three methods if the question is specifically asking for a specific method then you have to do that method otherwise it is better to go for method 2 okay now coming to the method 1 using transformation matrix capital T now for the given system we know the matrix A is it is given here now in method 1 first we need to for find the the actual characteristic equation of the system it is determinant of SA minus A you will get it as SQ plus 6 S square plus 5 S plus 1 now comparing with the standard polynomial form we are able to find the coefficients A1, A2, A3 okay that is first step now the second step is we need to find the the desired characteristic equation that is we know the desired characteristic equation is given by by means of the given desired poles locations that is we have three poles locations it is given in the question so the desired carrot equation that is our new carrot equation become s plus 2 minus j4 s plus 2 plus j4 into s plus 10 then you will get a polynomial like this you compare with a, a standard standard polynomial like this then you can get the coefficients alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 now we need to apply the equation in the method one it is capital k that is the state feedback gain matrix capital k is equal to alpha 3 minus a3 alpha 2 minus a2 alpha 1 minus a1 into t inverse where capital t equal to identity matrix of the order 3 for this problem since it is given in controllable canonical form then as by performing the above equation you will get the the state feedback gain matrix as as a raw matrix is a 1 by 3 matrix 199 and 55 8 so that is the answer that is the state feedback controller matrix for the system now we can go for the method 2 for the method 2 that is direct substitution method here we know the state feedback gain matrix k is of the order 1 by 3 since n equal to 3 the order is 1 by 3 then you can use the matrix k as k1 k2 k3 now for this method we need to know only this equation that is the new cares equation determinant of sa minus a plus bk equal to sm s minus mu1 into s minus mu2 into s minus mu3 where mu1 mu2 mu3 are the the desired closed loop location which is given in the question now by substituting here we will able to solve for capital k and it becomes capital k equal to 199 as same as that in method 1 now coming to the method 3 that is using Ackermann's formula the Ackermann's formula for a n-order system it is defined like this k is equal to 0 0 0 etc up to 1 into the inverse of the controllability matrix into phi of a so that is the expression for Ackermann's formula now for the given problem we know n equal to 3 then the matrix k have the form 0 0 1 into b a b s square b all inverse into phi of a where phi of a k phi of a can be obtained from the desired carriage equations 
that is we know the desired carrier situation is given by s minus mu1 into s minus mu2 into s minus mu3 equal to 0 by expanding that you will get a polynomial like this that is sq plus 14 s square plus 60 s plus 200 then by replacing s by capital a that is the given system matrix we can obtain phi of a phi of a equal to a q plus 14 a square plus 60 a plus 200 i now by substituting by finding those values you will get the phi of a like this then substituting in our Ackermann's formula we can obtain k equal to 199.55.8 so we will get the same answers in all the three methods so this is regarding the state feedback controller design very important uh, for your university examination point of view then coming to uh, for to get the complete knowledge it is better to do these two problems as an assignment for first question it is regarding a second order system it is given a second order system we have the matrix a is there and matrix b is there then we can check the controllability and uh, the desired closed loop holes locations are at s equal to minus 3 and s equal to minus 4 so you can perform any of the you, it is better to do all the methods in order to uh, understand the with all the methods since it, is, since it is given in the controllable canonical form here also for the first method capital T you can take it as identity matrix then uh, for the method 2 direct substitution method that is you have to equate determinant of s minus a plus b k equal to s minus mu 1 into s minus mu 2 where capital K is it's a raw matrix 1 by 2 matrix k1 k2 then go for k1 and k2 similarly you can uh, go for the method 3 that is Ackermann's formula also now for second problem the system is given in terms of transfer function so the first step is we need to find the state space model of the given transfer function it is better to form a controllable canonical form uh, so that you can apply method 1 easily uh, also you can perform all the other, other two methods also method 2 and method 3 also Thank you.